Today we're gonna to give you a tour of the Airbnb that we're staying at. Welcome to our hotel room. All right, so we're, today we're gonna give you a tour of the Airbnb that we're staying at. It's really cute, it's very Key West. We're gonna start out with the kitchen area, which is probably the least important, well, not for everyone, but for our trip thus far, but it's, you know, it's acceptable. It's a well-appointed kitchen, but thanks to the fact that uh, we're on vacation, none of it matters, because I'm not cooking whatsoever. But, you know, refrigerator, stove, uh, Glasses, all, everything you could possibly want. Coffee maker, didn't use that either. Wanna know why? We're on vacation. So, uh. And Key West didn't have the, the small town village feel we quite kind of expected it to just out of our heads. It happens to have how many Starbucks? No, uh, several. I think there's four on a tiny island. Tiny so, plenty of ability. So, yeah, there's our kitchen. Pretty normal. Cute little uh, dinette seating as well. And that's our kitchen. Here we'll move into our living room. Lucifer would like to show you how comfy the couch is. And then we have a little reading nook with the rest of our stuff. And of course you need a fan. This is very Key West to me, this little like palm fan that we have going on here. And just a cute little reading and TV area. All right, so the bathroom. I want to say it's your typical bathroom. I mean, it's got lots of mirror, which I appreciate. I especially appreciate the fact that it's got one close so I can do close mirror work up right here. But here's what I really want to show you because it weirded me out. There's like plexiglass on a window and like boards. And I just didn't understand it. It was just a weird element to our Airbnb bathroom. This is the shower, by the way. Yeah, the shower. In the shower, there's plexiglass. In case someone's gonna be climbing in your window, snatching your people up, I guess. Um, bathroom. Now you gotta do that with me. We gotta fall together. So the bedroom has a big enough bed. For the three of us. No. Not with the important part. King! Yeah, king size. size. Sized for me. Comfy enough to let us sleep in more than we wanted to, but but light enough and airy enough to make us want to get up and go explore. I don't know what you're talking about. She had us up by 8 30 today. I thought it was 9 30. And it was good because we have to check out earlier than we thought we did. So now let me take you to Chris's favorite part of. The Airbnb. Do you think there's time to get some time in there before we leave? No. Oh, come on, just like. No. You can put it. your finger in. Welcome to his kingdom. Glorious hot tub. Can I get a hot tub? Can I get a hot tub? Oh, yes. Look at the bubbles. Four degrees of the wondrousness. Bubbles. And the bubbles. Yeah, the bubbles. Yeah, so it's got its own hot tub, even up here on the second floor. Mm -hmm. And then it's got this interesting part that I was wondering about, like this little, I don't know, scary part, I guess. I always wondered what would happen if I just... I'm sorry. I'm, I, oh my God, that. See, like, why would you put that in your bathroom? That's so inappropriate. What kind of place is this? Oh, but this is our backyard. With a pool. And apparently this is a birds of paradise. This huge 
plant. I've seen them tiny, but I've never seen them like outgrow a palm. It's fantastic. You okay over there, naked I'm, man? I, uh, I'm gonna have PTSD. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. So this is basically our Airbnb. In fact, I'll show you a little bit just the outside to show you kind of the building that it came from. But I am, uh, I am well pleased and uh, recommend. We're going to Miami Beach for our next hotel. However, we're going to find a beach with no storm. That is our goal. This is our Airbnb from the outside. Palm Gardens Vacation Rentals. Go ahead. We are number five upstairs. Goodbye, Palm Gardens Vacation Rentals. Historic building of some sort. Running away from the emergency alert. Hurricane warning, baby. Let's outrun the hurricane. It's, it's not a hurricane. It's a tropical depression, which is better than like say an urban, you know, Bay Area depression. Which is what we were running away from in the first place. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Hello, little ones. I do some conch. I don't know. You will like it. I will give you some. Oh, yep. You like it. There's more. There's more where that came from. All these little islands. I wonder what kind of life, like what's the biggest apex predator in there? Is it is it alligators? Is it Earl? Is it Earl? Wow, it's such a pretty color outside. Yeah, it's, it's weird when you see those little water Yeah. Oh, there's the water. So cool. It, uh, there's a gap. I don't know anything about this, but it's so interesting. Cool. That would be an awesome place to stay. It, no, those are all rental RVs, uh, so it has RVs you can go rent and stay there. Yeah. If you sit past the rain there, you can kind of see the bridge. Kind of. This is the bridge from True Lies. From True Lies. I barely remember True Lies. I remember the strip scene. This is, our governor blew this bridge up. Oh. Our former governor. Yeah, our former governor. Uh -oh. oh, what's happening? to you while you're in the car okay cool yeah life-threatening storm surges we're we're getting out man we're doing our best uh, we gotta follow the evacuation orders because we might get cut off and you know, stuck in the keys well and as much as I don't want that to happen question mark emergency. I'm sorry I couldn't go back to work I was stuck in the keys darn Sorry. Oh no. Darn. driving through Florida and there are some huge houses. Chris tells me that we're kind of in the area of his neighborhood. 
Um, did you have a gargantuan house? Were you were you rich, baby? We had a very large house. It was it was huge. One of these estate homes, and uh, you know, it was a huge lot that led back to a canal, and, you know, an enclosed swimming pool, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, baby, you didn't tell me you were rich. Well, we weren't rich. I mean, we had a housekeeper and a nanny and all that kind of stuff. Oh my God, baby, you were rich. We were we weren't rich. We just had a nice house in here in Florida. You had a Brittany. We we had several. Uh, <laughs> but that's Man, you didn't tell me you were point. rich. <laughs> I didn't know. We were so, we yeah. were, we were robbed nice. of that home. If, if it's any consolation, it turned out it was all a big uh, scam. Uh, the uh, people had it like multi mortgaged and. The bank came to claim it after they sold it to us. Oh. Like months after they sold it to us. Like six months later, they're like, hey, this home is up for auction. Whoa. That's yeah. no good. Yeah, it was crazy. That, There's a lot, of, a lot of crazy scams up in Florida. Florida man gets you every time. All right, we're headed to Miami Beach where there will be a beach and rain. Those are so cool. This is, as Chris said, recovered swampland which it looks like it wants to return back to its natural state a little bit, but uh, uh, I just want to climb the trees. Do you people climb these? Good. I have never really climbed these trees. No? Why? I'm always worried about what might be in them. <laughs> That's true. They do look like they have creatures in them. Creatures in them. Yeah. This is awesome. What is this, babe? I think that's the port, the port of Miami. The port of Miami? Yeah. Right off the elevator. Welcome to our hotel room. This is it. And you'll notice the white everywhere, which is perfect because it matches our lumpy. You won't notice any of the white hairs. <laughs> exactly. I really like the aesthetic of it, to be honest. But uh, this headboard with the glowiness going on in. <laughs> Yes. Wait, just a moment. Yes. <laughs> We're oh, giving these to our guests in oh. case the lights go out. <laughs> okay. And just crack it and use it like a flashlight. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you and so much. Put, we're putting them in the safes. I don't know if I put one in your safe, but you get two. Okay. Three. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you so wait, much. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just have two so I can go rave with no. them? No. <laughs> <laughs> We brought the hurricane with us. I don't know if we mentioned that. This is just in case the lights go out and uh, so that we have something to see by. We do have a flashlight because yeah. my husband is a Boy Scout and he always comes prepared. So that's the bedroom of the hotel. They have a nice little closet that actually has a light in it. And it's let's see if they did leave us one. No, they didn't. So, so we, we do one. have one now. Should we put it there? Just so we know where it is? Sure. Okay. I know where my flashlight is too. Yeah. And then, squeaky squeak. I think the bathroom's really pretty. Like the gold, well, no, I like the mirror. Everyone's prettier in one of these mirrors. And then uh, the bathroom, like fixtures up there, really cool. hotel and uh that's good because we might be um here for inside longer than we anticipated we got one right across from the beach because we were like you know we're gonna go to the beach and be on the beach and we're still gonna do that we just may not be doing so in the same conditions as we anticipated <laughs> Lumpy, what do you think of the hotel? You like it? Lumpy loves hotels. And he met a dog as soon as he come in, came in here. It was the manager's dog. They are like, this is Vader, the manager's dog, who's here to greet you. And it was so nice. Let me just tell you, I wish everywhere I went everywhere had a happy little dog there to greet me. All right. So on the way here, we had some issues. Major, major issues. Getting Lumpy here. It turns out that the TSA approved carrier that we bought they said was too small for him. He fit in it, but they needed him to be able to stand up completely and turn around completely in it, which was what the rules are for checked pets. 
but not for carry-on pets because the carry-on pets said they have a minimum, um, a maximum size that the cage can be. Here's the thing, this is all brand news to us mm -hmm. as we get to the uh, actual airport and have only a couple hours to our flight. That's when we find out that information. Though they knew we were flying with him beforehand. So this is of and, course last minute. And like of course, we asked the person on the phone, uh, what's the dimensions? What do we have to do for the carrier? And they told us exactly what we needed to get and we bought exactly that. So we got some sort of exception in order to take him in the one that we bought, but they said we couldn't take him home in it. So we, you know, next day air kind of thing, something that we hope will work. But other than that, I don't know how we're getting home. So if this doesn't work. We're renting a car and driving home. We live in Florida. <laughs> We just live in the hurricane land. Yeah. Um, I have concerns. We'll see, but we all have both. That's the thing. Is the one that said TSA approved should be the one that we needed. I, so, I'm gonna put like a sew mesh onto it so it has a little pop-up window if this doesn't work. I'm gonna feel bigger. Also, it doesn't have stuff, that's weird. It's fucking massive. Like too big? Like they won't allow it too big? It's supposed to be 24 by 18 by 21. All right, so I say we take them in the small one, and then when they say that doesn't work, you get, we pull out the big one. That is so massive, there's no way that goes under our seats. This means we have to try to go to a fabric store. Mm-hmm. Just have it there as a backup. We clip it on, pin it on. The, the mesh? Yeah. Yeah, on the top? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's not fret about this right now. Well, let's back this thing up. Ha, ha, ha.